My name is Freddie Martin, and I am the new Congregational Life and Community Engagement Manager. Um, thank you. Um, I actually had asked a friend of mine, Siobhan Allen, to do the I Am Glide today witness, um, but she wasn't able to make it, so hopefully she'll do it soon. Um, and I was asked to do it. <laughs> uh, so I had this big idea of what my I Am Glide, which I made over and over and over again, what my witness would be, but it turned out to be totally different. So I think you guys all got this. They passed these out with the prompts for writing. I love Marvin for doing that. I love to write, and this motivates me and makes me write because I haven't been writing a lot. So one of the prompts that he gave recently was, I come from a long line of women. And I thought the reason I asked Siobhan was because it's Women's Month and I thought that it should be Women's History Month. I thought that it should be a woman. So what I decided to do was use what I wrote back there in the back row in the sanctuary after he gave this prompt and I added some things to it. Um, I come from a long line of women who loved, who healed, who led, who educated, who trained, who admonished, who cared for, who worked their fingers to the bones for me, and probably for many of you, who gave life, who gave birth to all of us. Women who worshiped, prayed to, praised, loved, and feared God. I come from these women who made space and created space a safe space for those who were afraid to take or make their own space or felt they had no space. These women fed me. They came to my defense in many cases. And they hallelujahed and amen themselves and their loved ones into healing and an overflow of blessings, a God connection made for everybody they touched. They nursed me back to life in the worst situations. And in that legacy, I've dedicated a part of my life to being of service to those in need, whether it's tenant, housing, congregational, community, racial, women's, men's justice, organizing, co-leading, going to keeping it real or bridging the gap, gay by men's group, volunteering in Glide's kitchen, or whether it's sitting in Freedom Hall, on the balcony, or in the sanctuary. I've been grassroots organizing for many years now, and if it weren't for those women and the love and compassion and support that they gave me, I would not be here. And I think that may be true for some others. So I, I wanted, the reason that I shared that um, I didn't say this in the earlier service, but it's, kind, it's like an homage or honoring someone that I lost. My eldest sister died just a month ago. It was on Valentine's Day. So we, I just went through that process of burying her, and I've been thinking about my mom who passed not too long ago as well, and my youngest sister out of my oldest sisters. So this is a tribute to them. But what I want to say is that when I came to Glide, I started down in the Freedom Hall because I felt too ashamed and I was too low and on myself and thinking on myself that I didn't, I didn't feel worthy or feel like I could come up in the sanctuary. And what I experienced was that same love. I, I, so Tyree Leslie was down there, and he kept telling me, he, he was like, you can do this, you can do that. Come go with me. Come, you know, come participate in this. Come participate in that. I also had Paula Farmer telling me to come to the Pride meeting. Come go with me. Um, <clears throat> come participate. There were people in the choir, Martel, Vernon, people that invited me in. Some things I followed through with. I auditioned for the choir, but I haven't sang with them yet. An amazing choir who, 
who also, <laughs> who also uh, minister to me. They've, they've been a lifeline. And I really, really want to thank Marvin for the ultimate come go with me. I, didn't, I never thought sitting down in Freedom Hall, sipping on the coffee, leaving out before service ended, I never thought that I would be able to be of service or be here and help provide something for people in need. So I just want to say that I am a miracle because there are so many reasons and so many things that happened in my life to where I shouldn't have been here. And I'm, I'm sure that's a testimony for many people. So you are miracles. We're all miracles. And, and the last thing that I want to say is that in, in my organizing, door knocking, helping um, people with housing, helping in many different areas, that's part of the new direction, or I would say going back to CISO's roots, you know, where it's going out to the streets and meeting people where they're at. Because some people can't make their way here. Some people are standing outside, you know, so we're, we're gonna help bridge that divide and we're gonna, we're gonna do what needs to be done for the community. Like all of us, like I was, loved back to health or loved to be here, that's what TL and San Francisco needs from Glide. So my name is Freddie Martin and I am Glide.